Hi there, this is Jakey from Amaranth and you're watching Groovy TV. Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Jake from Amaranth here at the Gothic Theater in Denver, Colorado. How the heck are you, man? Whew. My you one hell of a day. Yeah, my stress levels are now back to normal, that will say 110 uh, percent. But um, other than that, it's good. Actually, one of the the Within Temptation guys uh, caught me when we got in here before and said that, "Hey, Jake, it would be nice to see you. Uh, it has nice to see how you look without the stress sometime." <laughs> <laughs> and that made me thinking that maybe uh, I should fucking take a you know, pill or something, I don't know. <laughs> but we had a hectic day, we had uh, we um, had a bus driver that um, miscalculated a little bit. Mm -hmm. We were in Indian territory somewhere along like down Albuquerque somewhere. Okay. And um, he said that, yeah, the trip's gonna take six hours, so let's leave at, I don't know, 7.30. Ended up being time zones and time differentials and stuff in that in the counting as well. So we ended up here, I think, 5:30 and uh, or six. No, no, no. Actually, six, five, fifteen. Yeah, we got stuck in a you know huge traffic jam as well, oh and God. and uh, we actually all of us helped out with the the crew uh -huh. uh, to set up all the pieces, and uh, we actually finished setting everything up in 20 minutes, and we didn't have time to sound check, but. <sighs> No, my heart still pumps. I that believe point. it, man. Yeah. I believe it. But to be honest, it was you, a long you, answer. And how are you doing, by the you way? Guys, <laughs> you, you guys, you guys, fucking killed it tonight, though. You killed it tonight. Oh, thank you very much. I can't. I actually can't even believe, with no sound check, no nothing, that it went as well as it did. Because you had to be pretty stressed. Yeah, we were. And I was like, I, on the massive addictive song, I totally forgot the lyrics. I was like, I was just thinking, you know. Everything else went into my mind except that what's the fucking text, you know? Uh, no, I, I, but it's usually like that with us. Like the times when we got four hours to sound check, put everything up on our headline shows, mm -hmm. compared to a show like this, these shows are always the best for some fucking reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what, but uh, yeah, I was actually like I was actually kind of concerned because I knew there was all this stuff going on. But yeah, you guys destroyed it, so congrats! Thank you very yeah. much. The audience were awesome. Thank you, Denver, very very much. A lot of fans for you guys here. Apparently, we have, um, and you could totally see that the Nexus album has done really well here. Mm -hmm. uh, the Amaranth, uh, the Amaranth album. Uh, were never released physical in the states at all. Okay. So uh, when we, you, you could totally see that in LA, for example, when we played Hunger, everyone knew about it, like uh, in Nokia Theater. And uh, but here, the you could see that the Nexus album was what? the. Sh well, the that shit. Nexus video is ridiculous. Is. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm doing quite fine actually. It was a great show tonight. What a surprise. Yeah. We had such uh like this. Yeah. Okay. That's nicer. That's nicer. <laughs> Start working on Chaos TV. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chaos TV again. We got it again. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been one of those long days, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, the show turned out to be fantastic. What a great crowd oh, here in lovely. Denver. Yeah. Amazing. And like the, the, yeah, this was sold out, but they were. The, it was two and a half blocks long waiting for you guys. We, we saw that when how we came in with our bus. Yeah, how big is a block? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Long. How, how, lo how, lo how long is a rope? <laughs> oh, a block is ten ropes. Uh, awesome. <laughs> now we know. Now you know. Exactly. I, I, I must say that for you, like, I guess this is most American viewers, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, for us coming from Europe, everyone's talking about inches and feet and like that. The only thing that I know about is like nine feet, and that is no, yeah, what, uh, no, uh, uh. nine inches, yeah, right. You know nine inches? Yeah, uh, nine feet. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, okay. Yeah, what I what? Yeah, exactly. No, I was kidding. 
No, but we we never understand this, you know, like how big's the stage? Yeah, it's nine nine feet and five inches. And I'm like, okay, who's you know depends on whose feet, right? Yeah, exactly. To be a basketball player, that would be a huge stage. <laughs> yeah, you know? Doesn't make any sense. I never really got that. So you're big on the metric system is what you're saying. Yeah, we are, we are, we are. It's pretty easy to count as well. Yeah. So how many centimeters in an inch? Uh, two and a half. Two point seven? Yeah, something, something like that. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Like you have one millimeters. That's you know, all everything is divided by ten. Can you tell me what a stone is in England? I don't know what a stone is. Uh, that's a uh, Yuan when he got the wrong cigarettes. <laughs> I guess so. I think I, I I think it's a pound. But a I'm not stone sure. is a pound. I think so. Like fifteen stones. That's like roughly. I think like seven and a half kilos. I might be completely wrong now, but something like that. It's fucking stupid anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, we everyone should just adjust the metric system. It would make everybody lives easier. Oh, I totally agree. Because yeah. like one centiliter matches with one millimeter of yeah, whatever. One meter is, you know, one meter is hundred. Uh, what is it? One meter is 100 centimeters, and right. so on, and so on, and so on. By the way, this is the science program, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's totally a science so, program. Hey, welcome yeah. to science program. After the commercials, you will see ants uh, climbing on a wall. <laughs> well, which is actually our trademark. There you go. There you go. Okay, so let's uh, let's move on to the business end of things. New album coming uh, out, end, right? Yeah, like next month, I believe. What? Yeah. The new album's coming out In next month. Almost exactly one month. Oh, give or take one week. Yeah. Right on. Right on. Right on. So, what is the vibe and feel of the new album? The response so far has been really great. I mean, I've only seen like a few in, uh, reviews so far, mm -hmm. but all of them has been really, really good. So, nice. uh, I think the expectations are pretty high on the album, but so far it's kind of living up to to that. So that's right. yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah. And what about you, man? What was it like putting this album together? Awesome. It's the I think it's. 12.5 centimeters uh, times nine centimeters. Yeah, nine, it's nine and a half feet. <laughs> yeah, nine and a half feet exactly. No, uh, I have huge expectations on it. Actually, uh, it's a fantastic album. Uh, we've gone somewhere a bit brave on some, uh, some, yeah, on, on some parts of it, and uh, we of course kept the hammer and sound on it as well. Uh, so, um, really looking forward to what. The, the buyers are going to think about it and the fans are going to think about it, but when we play the songs live, everyone seems to agree that it's a good song, so... Yeah. I mean, there was no one standing still during your entire set. It was pretty yeah, ludicrous. Really. That, that was, that was really might, exciting. It might be because we're releasing, you know, this uh, bed bugs in the audience, but... <laughs> <laughs> bed bugs always work. Yeah, busy times. <laughs> Alright, so uh, are you guys going to tour he heavily on this next album? Uh, yeah, as always. Uh, like in Sweden, I think there's us, Sabaton, and uh, In Flames that tours as much as we do. Right. Uh, and uh, we start now. And month, I, got, I gotta ask because a month uh, before the tour, really, uh, the, a month before the album, and then we just continue. Right. I gotta ask because there's so many freaking wicked awesome bands that come out of Sweden. What is the music scene? actually like. I mean, there's you guys, Sabaton, In Flames, Soil Work, and all these other ones. We have a really funny story. You know, yeah. our, uh, we have a friend, Gus G. Okay. Yeah. He, he actually moved to uh, Sweden from Greece thinking, uh, he had an idea about like, in every corner there's going to be a metal place, you know, metal bar, somewhere you could play, somewhere uh, you can have a gig. And then he went there and he was fucking really pissed because there was like no places where he could actually do that. The, the, the metal scene itself is living, yeah, it's, uh, it's feeding itself in some fucking weird way. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of bands, but you know, no really funding from the government or anything like that. We have, we have really good, you know, help from uh, specific uh, organizations and stuff like, like that that spaces yeah, and stuff like that yeah yeah right but but other than that it's just the regular fucking city really? but but uh, we thank of course uh, you know in flames and at the gates and evergrey yeah. and uh, dark tranquility and ev all of them to you know like make people want to be them and right. like we did once yeah, in a, exactly. once in a day 
No, and I think that you know, if you have you know a lot of people around you that show a certain signs of excellence in you know in their yeah. field, that kind of you know inspires you, of course. And we were growing up with a uh, you know melodic death metal scene in the mid '90s, and you right. know that whole thing. So of course that that was like a big kick in the ass. Yeah. And it was totally I mean, created there. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it, it was 100. percent And what people don't know today is that it was not only in Flames and Dark Nihility and Evergrey and in uh, you know Hammerfall or whatever. It was like another 25 bands that were could blow you know most bands away today mm -hmm. so i mean to to be anything uh, you know back in those days you had to like really step up your game so yeah. i think that we, it was a huge inspiration but it was also you know big kick in the back to have like that kind of you know level of musicians around you right right so on um, another thing about you guys that i love is your your videos are freaking insane like that nexus one was better than most movies i've seen <laughs> thank you and the, the you. there was a the, one recently Released. What was that one called? Drop Dead Cynic. Yeah, that's freaking awesome too. So, is, is there more videos coming out? And yeah, how, how do that's you? The reason why we're doing this, we wanted to be, we actually want to be movie stars, but we are too ugly for that. <laughs> Fuck you, Brad Pitt, for putting the standards too high. You yeah. got a six pack going? Cause I got a keg, but we have yeah, six pack uh, in the bus. Yeah, we have six pack in the bus. <laughs> what are we doing on camera then? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, of course, uh, we always try to put out at least two or three videos on on right. on every album, and uh, it's a lot of fun making them. Uh, it's a lot of work before we do it because like we always plan them way ahead mm. and you know a week before we have no you know no idea what to do and you know uh, always changing plans and uh, right. but it always turns up good so and do you prefer like the mini film or the rocking out at uh, the mini film of course yeah. uh, it's you know releasing a video is not only promoting a song mm -hmm. what you want to do with the video is to make people either like the song or the video or both but if you just have a, a, a song up uh, with the band playing against the white wall or whatever right. uh, people will listen to the song they will like the song and then they're gonna play it on Spotify or they want to play it on buy this buy it or download it or whatever right. but if you have a great video people will tell their friends that ah you have to check this video out oh, yeah. which makes which, which has a huge impact and that spreads the word about the band better and faster than any m other media i would say oh yeah because i've told at least 10 people since i watched nexus like you gotta see that freaking video yeah, exactly. it's ridiculous yeah that's a good way of you know uh, presenting the band to people in general especially in an age where social media is so important yeah. then you want to have something that has all the Im impact uh at the same time because earlier the, if there was like a huge band being marketed people would sooner or later find out through mtv or you know local magazines or or, or a huge ass arena tour or whatever right. to today you got to make a huge impact like that yeah. and there's a lot of people in the business that still really don't get that no. that everything has to come at the same time maximum impact on all the senses yeah. and i think that you know Sometimes people ask us, like, relatively speaking, why do you think, like, Amaranth has had, you know, the kind of success in such a short amount of time? I think that it has a lot to do with that we're very aware of this situation, like, should bombard all the senses, you know, as much as possible. Of course, there needs to be a lot of substance, yeah. which we have on our albums, naturally, but the single and the video and the tour and the show, like tonight, everything should be explosive as hell to really make an impact on people. Right. Agreed. Agreed. All right, gentlemen. Well, unfortunately, you've reached part of the interview where I ask you a bunch of stupid questions. Let's go. Are you ready? I have a lot of stupid answers. Yes! That's what I like to hear. Okay, okay first one. Name two people cooler than Evil Knievel. Who is Evil Knievel? That is the correct answer. <laughs> How about you, sir? I actually know who Evil Knievel is. I would say uh, Harry Houdini and, uh, and Thomas Edison. And agreed, Jason agreed. Statham. Oh, I'll agree with that. Okay, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. yeah. 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 He's like the coolest guy since since Elvis. <laughs> Elvis is a good answer. Yeah. That makes it too. Yeah. Elvis and Jason Statham. Yeah. And Houdini, Houdini and um, Thomas Edison. Uh, oh, yeah. He kicked, yeah. he kicked a lot of ass. Uh, or maybe Nikolai Tesla. I'm not sure. Yeah. Tesla is cooler than Edison. Yeah, you're like so. a thought yeah. for me now. <laughs> All right, one last one. It's a survey question. Oh, yeah, man. We like stupid oh, questions. Surveys. Okay. Surveys. We love surveys. Okay, yeah. What is the stupidest thing you've ever heard another human being say? How long is a rope? <laughs> it's How a block lock. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that.
<laughs> I mean, I probably have plenty of stupid stuff, but no, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's all good. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Have a good Just shake, shake. Yeah. Doctor, 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 doctor. This is Groovy Amir with Amherst. <laughs> Gothic Theater, Denver, Colorado. Doctor, 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 doctor. <laughs> Bye. Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> <laughs>